the formidable robot. Everybody seems to be using emulators nowadays, some new perk of PC gaming. So I decided to download the most powerful emulator out there, Dolphin. Just in case you don't know, Dolphin is a GameCube and Wii emulator. You need a high-end computer to run most games correctly. As I roamed the internet for ISO files, I found Luigi's Mansion on some website called, CoolRum.com. I found a page for a game called, Luigi's Mansion 1. Not sure what the one in parentheses was for, but I downloaded it anyways. So I downloaded it, added it on Dolphin, and started playing. Everything seemed to work on contact, nothing out of place. But oddly I could move when it shows off the lobby of the mansion, in fact I could move during all of the cutscenes. Strange, but I continued on. Instead of that ghostly laugh that plays, it played Bowser's yell. So I took it as a glitch, it is running on an emulator after all. After the ghost drops the key, I got it, but for some reason, the tune didn't play, in fact, no music played during the ghost cutscene. But I ignored those weird things and continued. After Luigi unlocked the door, he seemed to exit immediately in a weird reverse animation. Luigi then appears transparent and I started hearing noises from the cutscene that was supposed to play in the room I somehow exited. I opened the door and the scene was still playing, but the camera was positioned as if the game was not playing a cutscene. I waited a while and decided to restart the game, nothing was happening. This time around, the game played regularly, the music still wouldn't play, but I didn't mind. But after I got the second key in the game, collected money, and was about to unlock the next door, I heard a scream of Luigi, with a creepy and emotionless image of Luigi popped up on screen. It then faded out. I stupidly decided to continue. As I cleared the next room, I went onwards to the next room, but halfway as I opened the door, the game crashed. Not sure why. When I reopened Dolphin and opened up Luigi's Mansion, it skipped the Nintendo logo, the title screen, everything, and I ended up in the room I tried to go into before. But it was light as if I already beat it. There was creepy loud music playing in the background. I opened up the door where the toad would be by the window, but this time, the sky was red. Not that cliché blood red, but the same red fire background used in the final boss. And Toad wasn't there this time, it was Mario. As I looked around, images of that Luigi face constantly pops up for a split second. Mario seemed to act just like Toad. He even let me save, where Luigi's vivid face can be seen on the save screen. The game crashed after saving. As I opened up the game once again, Luigi was in the lobby, with no equipment with him. And Mario was also standing there, acting just like the Toad. I walked down the halls as the game froze halfway there. I restarted and ended up in Melody's room, and I could see that Luigi face was there too, but it shows its whole body this time. Why is it here? As Melody played her song, Luigi was suddenly frozen in ice. When the song finished, Luigi managed to break out of the ice. But that creepy Luigi figure, it was gone. That's when Melody started attacking me with the pages, but before I could leave the room, that Luigi face came in and started flashing and crashed the game. When I started up the game again, it showed the title screen again. But when I got to the file select screen, it showed that Luigi figure, saying, Get out! in a deep vivid tone. Then the game exited itself. When I looked at the Dolphin Game Library, the game's name changed to, Go to Mario World, there's a piece of cake for you. I then exited Dolphin, but later realized that my desktop background was changed to that piece of cake, and a new folder had been automatically made, called, Cake. It contained a Japanese text document named, Tasty Cake, and a sound file that's name is a random collection of zeros and ones. When playing the file, I could never make it out. I deleted that ISO file, and everything went back to normal. I kept the footage and other traces of it just in case somebody could tell me what the hell just happened. <laughs>